We are in the building. Welcome back to Art Talk with your art instructor, Kevalon. Art Talk is a discussion about interesting or crazy people, situations, and current events in our world today. Art Talk is also instructional information as far as artwork and things of that nature. So art supplies, we talk about everything. But today, we're gonna discuss some people in our world today. And the people we're gonna to discuss today are Stacey Abrams. Miss Stacey Abrams is running for governor of Georgia right now. Some of you may know, some of you may not know. But yeah, Stacey Abrams is running for governor in Georgia. And she has a serious endorsement from none other than Oprah Winfrey. Now, Oprah Winfrey is what's known as an influencer, okay? Oprah is very powerful. When she says do something, people do it. They call it the Oprah Winfrey effect. The Oprah Winfrey effect is very, very powerful. When, and giving some, citing some examples, okay? We're gonna have some examples. When Oprah endorsed Obama, when he was running, and Oprah endorsed him, CSNBC said at that time that Oprah caused Obama to get a million or more additional votes because of her endorsement. Okay? Oprah makes people like people, places, and things. Oprah will change your mind about some stuff that you didn't like before. Like on her show, for example. She had that book club on her show. And the book club, she would always say that she liked the book. And that particular book would always go viral. When she would endorse a book, Everybody would go and get it who loved her show and who loved Oprah. So, as a result, the books would go on the New York Times bestseller list and stuff like that. And that is a powerful influence when you can do things like that. When you can make people go and do things, go places, buy things, that's an influencer right there. So Oprah definitely has influenced a lot of things in her time. And it's due to her celebrity. And I don't know if it's just from her show, I don't think so. I think it's before that. She had a lot of, like a lot of followers. She had a big following. Oprah used to do the news and just captivate people back in her heyday. But, you know, the stuff that got her famous, like she is now. She's on a level now, but she used to be a newscaster. And she really delivered the news on another level. So, a lot of people like to tune in. And that's why I think she got so, so famous on her show. Is because she had an intense delivery still. And she always has. She always kept that. That intensity in her work. And Oprah is endorsing this lady to the point where it's kind of, to me, unusual for, to see a star endorse somebody in such a way. And the way I mean is that she's endorsing her going door to door in Atlanta. Oprah has been spotted going door to door 
endorsing Stacey Abrams. She's getting people to vote for Stacey Abrams, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but if Oprah showed up at my door talking about anything, I might have to listen a little bit. You know, people, people tend to be followers sometimes. But in this case, Oprah, when Oprah is endorsing you, you can't go wrong. You know, Oprah is very powerful like that. So people tend to believe everything she says or a lot of things that she says. When she says, go somewhere, check out a restaurant, most people are going to check it out due to her having so much money and you know, influence, and, you know, she knows quality when she sees it. That's what people are going to assume because she has so much money, you know, and um, not harping on her money, but I'm just saying Oprah is a powerful woman in America, and there's a reason for that. You know, she built her career. She did a lot of things in the past that, you know, gave her her name. Like I said, the newscasting she used to do, that was powerful. But she, I don't think she's ever endorsed anybody on this level where she's going door to door, okay? So my question to the family is, if Oprah showed up at your doorstep, would you listen to her? Would you endorse this candidate? Because Oprah showed up at your door. And if she did show up at your door, would that make you vote in a certain direction just because Oprah supports it? Or what? That's one of my questions to the family is, you know, what do y'all think about that? What do you think about Oprah going door to door? Supporting Stacey Abrams. I think that's some powerful stuff right there. Because it says a lot about Stacey Abrams. You know that Oprah would join you. That's just immediate thinking I think people are going to come up with. Like you know that's, that's serious that Oprah would endorse her. So that's going to interest people in her. You know what I mean? If Oprah endorses her. That's all she needs, really. Because, like I said, when, and when Obama got endorsed by her, her vote, his votes changed. Yeah, the level of voting that he was experiencing, <laughs> it jumped a quick million, easy, when she started endorsing, endorsing him. So, Stacey Abrams is she's probably going to become very famous due to a lot of the famous people like John Legend that endorse her. Yeah, like Will Ferrell endorses her. So she has some names that already are interested in her. And that's due to her message. She has a very nice message, and she's deep with what she said. She just shut down a lady on Fox News, and y'all might want to go check that out. But she shut the lady down. This, is, this lady usually runs her mouth real bad, and, <laughs> and she had to have her on there interviewing her, and the lady, she shut the lady down, you know. So Stacy has a message, Okay. And Stacey Abrams is going to be heard regardless of these celebrities or not. You know. So, here we're going to um, finish up on Oprah a little bit. And then we're going to go into Stacey Abrams' side of the painting. Okay? But yeah, Oprah has a lot of influence. And, and it's very powerful. And I think that, you know, if she shows up at your door, you might just vote due to that. You know, the average person is going to support whatever Oprah says. 
That's average. Everybody's not average like that. So, but yeah. Now on to Stacey Abrams. Stacey Abrams could be the first black female governor in Georgia. They say. So, with that in mind, do you think this is like a feminist type move on Oprah's part? That she endorses this young lady right now? What do you think about that? About Oprah endorsing her? Also, Stacey Abrams is about all of the policies. Like, she's really focused on issues. And her issues are like jobs. She's focused on jobs. Medicaid. Medicare. Education. Yeah, she really supports the veterans. She supports veterans. And she also passed some legislation in her time, her short time so far. She's passed some legislation that supports veterans. For veterans. She also said that she could shoot a gun. So she understands the veterans. She really has an affinity for veterans. She supports the vets. Now, is that a good issue for you guys to vote for her on? Also, she said to a lot of people's surprise, I'm sure, it's going to come as a surprise, but she said don't vote for her because she's black. And that's a Crayola crayon way of making policy, she said. When people go by your color, she calls it a Crayola approach to creating policy. <laughs> So she doesn't want you to do that. Now, who in the room was going to vote for her because she was black? And who's going to vote for her because she's black? I'm just curious. So y'all tell me in the comments later, once I post this, you'll be able to leave comments. But let me know who's voting for her because she's black. Some people are voting for her because she's a woman. Now, that is a powerful stance that she's taking or that she's a position that she's in because she's a minority. She's a woman. And she also supports the LGBT community, which if you don't these days, Something's wrong with you, according to the, you know, the society. And there's nothing wrong with the LBGT community. I, I just want to say that. I'm not bashing the LBGT community. I'm just saying that this lady supports the LBGT community. So she'll definitely have a huge following, not just because of that, but just in general. I think that she's in a position to really go far in politics and I think that Oprah has seen the vision from hearing her speak and everything I think Oprah has seen the vision she saw the light she saw the mountaintop and that's why she's endorsing this young lady here and you know Oprah don't miss she doesn't miss anything she don't miss out on a good opportunity to jump out there and be heard, you know. But as far as politics, I don't see her doing a lot of things all the time. Like she did endorse Obama, but I don't see her doing a lot of things politically all the time. So this is a big step in another direction for her. And I think she's gonna help this young lady a lot because that's the Oprah effect. When you're talking about the Oprah effect, 
That's a powerful thing because Oprah has millions and millions of followers and a lot of people on her team, you know. So for her to support the lady, Stacey Abrams, that says a lot and it means a lot. But when you vote, she's saying don't vote for her because she's a black woman. She wants you to hear her issues and the things that she has to say. You know, she said, it doesn't really matter what color you are. You just want the best governor, don't you? And that's what her stance is, one of them, when she, you know, talks about color and race and why people vote for her and all that stuff. Because it's been brought up that she's black in interviews and things like that. And they always ask her, you know, do you think you have an advantage with the black community because you're black, you know, and she said that. She said, don't, you know, go by the color. You just want the best governor you can get, right? And I thought that was a good thing she said, you know, because she's smart. She has issues that she supports. She has things she's trying to do for the people, for all people. And that is a blessing, I think, to America. You know, and she's sensible. She has a lot of what we used to call horse sense. Yeah, she has a lot of common sense. So I really like some of the things she said. And so far, anyway. And I think that she's going to really do a positive justice to the government. For government issues and things like that. You know. And from a female perspective, you know, that's a whole nother, a whole nother issue, you know, because she's coming from a, a feminine perspective. So I think the women are going to turn out to support Stacey Abrams. And of course, one of the most powerful women in the world is supporting her now already. And not saying it's early. But I'm just saying, like, she's already on board. And that's a good thing, you know, because I'm sure she needs all the support she can get, you know. So, y'all let me know in the comments what you think about this endorsement and about Stacey Abrams and some of your motivations for voting for Stacey Abrams. Because I know y'all are going to vote for Stacey Abrams. I know this. <laughs> yeah, so let me know what y'all think, man. Because it's real important in a way, or in a few ways, because she's really going to change the game. And as she grows in government, and she runs for different positions and things, offices, she's going to make a difference. You know, my thing is that with Oprah, and the reason I'm talking so much about Oprah is because the Oprah effect is going to overshine some of the things that she's talking about, like her issues. I'm wondering, will, will that affect, like Oprah's celebrity, affect this lady, you know, making her point, so to speak? Because if she's giving a speech, for example, somewhere, and Oprah walks in the room... It's going to be a wrap. Like, people are just going to be all on Oprah and wanting to know what she has to say, too, which is going to take away shine from, the, from Stacey Abrams. You know, I'll give you a little example. It's like when Serena Williams was defeated by that young lady in the U.S. Open. You didn't know much about what the young lady had accomplished afterward because Serena was beefing so hard with the judges like she wanted to fight the dude like come down off the chair and we could do it right here like kind of you know she was very very boisterous and violent she broke a few rackets you know during the match and she accused them of being racist and sexist and all kind of stuff so once they made it to the podium, you couldn't even really understand 
what the girl had accomplished. I mean, it was her first big event like that. You know, she's the youngest to ever do it on that level. And she defeated Serena Williams. But it was overshined by Serena's drama and her celebrity. And it overshined the girl, I think. Just in my opinion, my humble opinion. So, is that same effect going to happen with Oprah and Stacey Abrams? I'm just concerned about that a little bit. But Stacey is a strong lady, and I don't think she's going to let anything overshine her statements and her opinions about things. So, once again, I appreciate everybody tuning in to Art Talk today. You could have been anywhere, but you chose to be here with me, and I really appreciate that. So, I want y'all all to go out and make somebody catch an art attack today. Do something inspiring for somebody, or in front of somebody, and make them catch an art attack. Be creative, though. Be creative. Don't be corny, okay? I want y'all to go do something creative today. And if I got to teach you to do it, I'll show you how to do it. Also, if y'all want private coaching for airbrushing, we can arrange that also. And you can hit me in Messenger or at Gmail. It's Kevalone at Gmail. K-E-V-A-L-O-N-E, -E, in case you haven't seen it all over this page. All over the art gallery, all right? So, once again, I want y'all to have a blessed day. And I thank y'all for joining me here in the Art Attack studio. That's where you're at right now. And I'm Art Attacking this piece right now. So I want to thank y'all for joining me. And y'all have a blessed day. I'll catch y'all on the next one, which will be soon. Very soon. We got a few things we need to talk about. We got to discuss some crazy people. All right? And I also have some links on the page for art supplies for the starving artist group who takes the class. All right? So that art talk class, which is up to number four. And if you haven't checked out number one, you might want to check out number one before you get to number two or three. You know, you want to do it in order because... There's a lot of things you have to go get in order to take the class and in order to prosper in the art with the airbrush, all right? So it's certain airbrush equipment I want you to get, and it's down below on the page, all right, in the art gallery. So thanks again, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Take a closer look.